Hi guys, welcome to MS Power Automate. In today's video, we will learn how to build a new AI model, train the new AI model, create a solution which involves email processing via Cloudflow, and lastly, how to update the AI model. So firstly, navigate to Power Automate Flow via web under this URL. Once you successfully log in, go to AI Builder and select Models. In this case, click on the Build a Model and I would like to create an Invoice Processing AI Model. So let me rename this as Enter Invoice Info AI Model. We will need a minimum of 5 documents with the same layout. Create. The next step, you will need to add a field. So there is multiple option, uh, field, single page table or multiple page table. In this case, I would like to focus on the field. The field name, what I need is build to. Contact. Date. And lastly, total. Okay, once done, click on the next button. Add a new collection which is uploading your documents. So I upload all my five invoices. So all of these invoices do have the same layout. Upload the five document. It will take some time. Once done, click close. And you will need to click on the analyze button. Okay, once done, you will need to identify the field. So in this case, I can hover to it or I can left click and hold and drag. Then I assign to build to. Next is the contact. Since able to detect here, but I want to expand it a bit more. Then I will select contact. After that, I select the date. and the total once done i click on the next document and it auto populated already so that just to double check make sure everything are correct okay so everything is okay click next and the next step, what you will need to do is click on the train button. Okay, once done, click on go to models. It will bring you to this page. So it will take some time here. But uh, in this case, let me try to click on the refresh button. Let's see if it successfully uh, created. Okay, still loading. We wait for a while. Alright, so it's already trained. Then you can click this option. After that, do remember you will need to publish it. If not, you are not able to do the next step where the cloud are unable to identify this AI model. So let me show you what I mean by this, right? So if I go to solutions, let me create a new invoice process. So I click a new solution. I call it as training invoice process solution. The publisher, oops, sorry. Select the default publisher. Click create. 
afterwards click on this and then click new and select cloud flow you name this as okay now i would like to do a email processing where we receive an email and this email contains an attachment and then we're gonna use the ai builder to extract the information and then we send an email back to the user containing the details of the extracted value so in this case we would like to use when a new email arrives since I'm using Office 365 Outlook, I will select this option and then I will need to config check. I need to configure my on premises gateway. Make sure I am connected to the correct account. And then the folder I want to look for is inbox. Click on the advanced option. I want to read an email that contains attachment only. And I want to filter based on the subject of new invoice. Okay, once done click on the new step and you search for predict we will call the ai builder so in this case as you can see here the ai model that i've created earlier is not displayed here so what we can do here is go back to the browser search for your model go in and click publish it will take some time to publish before that you may want to delete this then once done you will, you can add it again okay now we already published it so go back to your flow Click new step, search for predict again. And select your AI model. Now, over here is the document type, right? You need to specify attachment content type. And then click on this predict again. Select attachment content. Afterwards, over here, you will actually surround it in the apply to each which means in in one email for each of the attachment we do something so i want to use the ai builder after that i want to send an email right i will add a new action called send an email v2 afterwards over here i want to send to the from I want to send back to the same user and the subject I want to name it as thanks for sending sending the invoice okay then I will need to indicate the total fee values okay so over here do take note I need to surround it inside this apply to each if I drag this below I will not be able to see the value of the AI model so do, try to do this carefully and then over here I indicate we receive an invoice with below details okay and then I want to indicate the total display name total value and then contact display name select contact value Con and then the next one is sorry i think i missed out this one step which is the date display name date value and last one is the total so total display name and the total value Alright, so once done, I click save 
and then you can test this out all right so you can use this flow checker to check make sure you don't have any error and then you can click on the test button i would like to test this manually click on save and test so the next thing what you need to do is you go log in to your outlook using the same email that you're using for this power automate account okay over here i would like to send a new mail message i send it to myself and then the subject i put as new invoice and then i want to attach the file so it can be a jpg file also doesn't matter okay so if i click send it will take some time to load all right your flow is running and it will indicate the time here how many seconds all right your flow has ran successfully so we go back to our outlook as you can see here i receive a new email at 10 41 and then we receive an invoice with the below details so let's double check this okay let me double check here open this new invoice 6743 march total and Edison. okay so we check all right all the values are correct so this is how we can use the ai builder via email processing okay now the last one that i want to show you is how are we going to re uh, upload a document to to update these ai models so over here what i need to do is i click on this i navigate to this page go to models and select my model click this three dots icon and click unpublish Okay, once done, click on edit model. Over here, click next. And I want to add more document. This time now, I want to add a JPEG file. Upload the document. It will take some time. Click close and click analyze again. okay once done double check the last document make sure all the values are selected accordingly since you're able to populate auto populate it click on the next button after that click train and it will prompt to override the last train version just continue and then go to the details page and you have to publish it again that's all how you can make use of the new ai model and also how to update the ai model so if you're keen to learn more do remember to subscribe our channel as we have constant updates and tutorial videos on microsoft power automate desktop thank you